Hello, welcome back to the OBIS data formatting series. In this video, we will learn how to access data from the OBIS API. The API allows you to filter data according to many different options. However, we will focus on those that can be used for obtaining occurrence data. We can obtain occurrence data from this first section. So clicking this blue button for get occurrence, find occurrence records, it reveals several parameters we can specify. To enable parameters, click try it out. We're going to search for Pacific Herring or Clupia palisae. As we scroll down, you can see that there are different filtering options available, including dataset ID, area ID, institute ID, node, start and end date, depth bins, geometry where you can provide a WKT string, several several drop-down options, whether or not we want to include extensions. There's also filtering options for data quality, absence records, and the type of measurements. For now, we're just going to keep to the taxa name and click execute. So the API will spit out this response, and we can see that there were a total of almost 2 million records. Now, what if you wanted to only get records that have depth data? So we want to exclude any records that do not provide depth. Well, we can provide that by typing in the exclude field the associated quality control flag. In that case, is no underscore depth. Now we're going to click Execute again. And this time we have 14,000 results. If you want to download these records, you can simply click Download. The response body here has a summary for each record. However, it's much faster to simply click Download and download the data in a JSON file format. However, note that downloading directly from the API will only give you the first page of results in JSON format. To download all records associated, it is recommended to use the R package, OBIS portal, or the OBIS mapper. To quickly clear all filtering options, you can click the clear button and that will delete everything we specified above. As you can see, the OPIS API has quite a number of other options for you to obtain and filter data, including by taxon ID. You can also have the ability to generate a checklist. You can search by OPIS node, by specific data set, institute, area, or countries. There's also this facet section, where it allows you to get the number of records for a specific facet. For example, if we were to type in flags and for our Pacific herring species, and then we click execute, we get a summary for how many records of Pacific herring have each of these flags. If we were to remove the scientific name, run the search again, now we get a summary for all records in OBIS and how many records are associated with each quality control flag. Finally, the statistics section allows you to obtain some basic summary statistics on occurrence records. For example, if we were to put our Pacific herring in again, click execute, we can see the number of records, the number of species, so on, the year range. And for this section, statistics years, we can get the number of occurrence records or presence records per year. Let me put our Pacific herring, click execute, and you can see how many records of herring exist in OBIS over time. Similarly, you can obtain the number of records for sea surface temperature, salinity, and depth bins. 
So this can be quite interesting if you want to know how many records exist for the sea surface temperature, the salinity, or at particular depths. So we can see that in the depth bin between 0 and 10, there are 7,500 records of Pacific herring. Many of the tools implemented by OBIS, including the R package ROBIS, are built around this API. You can, of course, access data through these tools or through the API itself, as we have just learned.